Pro Tips. What's going on guys? It's Pro Tips Latte. And uh, today I actually wanted to do a quick video on a little bit of Smash philosophy for you guys. Uh, Smash Ultimate is obviously coming out in basically one week and there's a lot of discussion going on on Twitter around competitive balance. Uh, naturally, you know, some people uh, have evaded the Nintendo police and they have tamed copies of the game, so we have been getting a lot of clips of um, a lot of the new uh, tech combos, movement techniques, and mechanics we're going to be seeing in the new game. And uh, there's a lot of craziness going on. So there's a couple things I really wanted to, you know, kind of break down and uh, discuss. Because um, when Smash 4 came out, there was a lot of negativity on the internet. And it's one of the things that really bothered me. And um, I wasn't as invested in the game early on, but you know, I kind of like saw in passing a lot of the uh, you know top players from Brawl were really you know giving off a lot of negative vibes around the game's mechanics. And um, I'm hoping that this time around, things probably aren't going to be balanced. But I, I hope that we can you know approach the game with a little bit more of a positive mentality. So I just wrote down a list of a couple quick things I wanted to talk about. And um, the short story is, you know, every competitive game has elements that people don't enjoy. And, you know, whenever it comes to, like, you know, playing a game competitively, you have to find the elements that you do enjoy and focus on those. I mean, even if you just like the larger meta, you know, often those things aren't going to be a huge problem in your region or in, you know, every match, you know. In Smash 4, for example, like, Bayonetta, a lot of people would, you know, watch Evo and say, like, oh, wow, um, you know, Bayonetta, you know, wins everything. But in reality, like, every region has, like, maybe, like, two or three good Bayonetta players and... I go to a lot of tournaments and I never run into Bayonetta. I can win the tournament and, you know, not run into a Bayonetta player. So, um, yeah, like, there's a lot of things where people will see the game itself in a negative light, but that, that doesn't necessarily speak on the experience you're going to have going to tournaments. So, that's kind of a big thing I think a lot of people run into. Um, as long as you focus on, you know, improving your knowledge of the game, uh, your mechanics in the game, um, this is a case with Smash Ultimate coming out that patches are likely to address most of the, you know, BS and, like, glaring ba balance issues. So, as discouraging as it may be, you know, initially, you know, for example, you know, you might be waiting, you know, one or two months before, before they touch my boy Meta Knight, before they touch Mewtwo, before they touch Pikachu, you know, until then, you know, definitely just sit tight, focus on, you know, getting better at the game and enjoying it. Um, the second thing I really want to talk about is, like, the philosophy of balance in general, because I think this is something that a lot of people haven't really, you know, taken that much time to think about. And if, uh, if you haven't played as many competitive games, you probably haven't seen as much variety in terms of balance. So, the short story is, um, this is going to sound kind of controversial, balance is actually the opposite of diversity. And um, I know that sounds a little strange, but think of it this way. Um, the only perfectly balanced game is a game where there's only one character and everyone is basically playing dittos the entire time. And in this case, you know, both players have ex op access to the exact same options in the exact same situations. And the sense of, like, player skill, the only thing you're able to do is outplay each other with same mechanics. Now, on the other hand, I want you to imagine a game that has a thousand characters and they're all completely different. So, in this game, to make the characters different, you have to give them strengths and weaknesses. So, you know, some moves have high range, high startup, low range, low startup, dash speeds are all different, different number of jumps, you give them all kind of like, we need quirky B moves. A huge percentage of these characters are going to be useless, and the top tier cream of the cop characters are going to be so much better than the average, that maybe like, maybe 5% of characters are going to be good enough to be viable at a competitive top level. Because these five characters, are they're going to be designed to have, you know, the high dash speeds, the high frame data, the good recoveries, etc. And if you want to make characters different, you have to give them weaknesses. And um, this is one of the things I give Sakurai a lot of credit for in Smash 4, because he did a really good job of um, juxtaposing like strong strengths, for example, strong ground game, and then like balancing that with weak disadvantage state, or balancing that with weak off stage game, or giving characters like high mobility, maybe high combo game, but low kill power, for example. So Smash 4 actually obtained like a pretty unique balance of um, a pretty unique strange of uh, character designs while still being relatively balanced. And the only problem we really saw was with Bayonetta and um, her disadvantage state was supposed to be her weakness, but uh, Bayonetta players found a lot of way around, ways around that, you know, retreating to the ledge. I think Bat Within was probably a little bit too strong, having access to Witch Time. But um, outside of those things, I mean, the design philosophy behind most of the game was really sound, and uh, that's one of the things I actually give Sakurai a lot of credit on. So, um, I just kind of wanted to mention that because I think a lot of people will see, like, um, games like uh, Melee, for example, and, um, the game has eight characters, 
And the cool thing about it is that they're all, you know, sort of different. They all have uh, sort of different feels to them. But when you break it down, like, all the characters are actually, for the most part, playing the same game. They're all, all the top tier characters are doing, you know, high dash speed, they're doing carry combos, they have solid edge guards, high disjoints, etc. And you're not really going to get as much diversity if you want every character to be good. And a lot of characters are designed in a way where they kind of have, like, some cool gimmicks that make them fun but their overall mechanics aren't necessarily going to be as solid as a character that's just designed to have the high dash speed, the disjoints, the sword characters, the marths, the, the zeros for Marvel vs. Capcom, uh, etc. So, uh, with that being said, I just want, like, I want people to go into this game with a little bit more of, like, a, you know, fresher understanding after having seen Smash 4 and how everything panned out. Because, you know, I really think that Smash Ultimate is going to be awesome. I mean, aside from the game balance itself, the game mechanics are going to make the game entertaining to watch. So, you know, even if it's not, like, the most balanced game initially, I think the high dash speed is going to like create, like, a high octane, high pace matches, you know, a lot of the, you know, new mechanics around the zoom in, the uh, score counter, a lot of that stuff is going to create a lot of hype for the audience. So, I just want to say, you know, I hope we can all go to Smash 5 with um, some positive mentality, and, um, you know, I'm really looking forward to it, guys, you know, I really hope you guys are as well. And with that being said, um, if you don't know who I am, uh, my name's Lade, I'm the Pro Tips guy, um, I run the Pro Tips Twitter page where I frequently post uh, clips analyzing high level Smash 4 play and melee, you know, just occasionally, and I really try to bridge the gap between mid and high level play. So if you don't follow me already, you know, uh, feel, perf feel free to check me out in the description, uh, sbprotwitter.com slash sbprotips. I also do frequently stream as well, I stream a lot of the locals in my region, I live in Tampa, Florida, we have uh, lots of great players here as well. And um, yeah, I definitely look forward to releasing a lot more YouTube content, so uh, please subscribe, you know, if you're looking forward to more Smash Philosophy, I'll have a lot of guides, I might have something coming up on building your region, um, another entire video on mentality. So yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you're looking forward to it, you know, um, I'll hopefully catch you guys in the future, and take it easy.